What's up guys it is monday august 15th a little after two o'clock so long day at work today but on my way home on this very dreary august day makes me very very tired i mean all i want to do right now is go home and lay in bed in front of my brand new 50 inch tv turn on some youtube and just friggin' relax Maybe fall asleep for an hour, just relax. But I got legs today, so I don't get to do that. Actually, um, I get to do legs today because they're my favorite. No, it's Monday, so I've got legs tonight. But um, ah, life could be so much worse than having to go squat tonight after work. But um, on my way home, got myself a uh, white monster and the best protein bar out there, the Power Crunch bars right there. Uh, this is just the French vanilla cream one. It's so good, but um, got about 25 minutes of this drive left. I'll be home, and then it's time to knock down my pre-workout and then head to the gym. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so getting ready to head to the gym. Going to make up my pre-workout right now, and what I'm going to have is half of what I have left of my monster. I'm, I don't know, half of what I have left, no. Actually, all of what I have left, which is half of my monster right here. So, there we go. There's that. I'll probably add some water to that too, just to get a little bit more volume so my pre-workout is not as concentrated and strong. And then taking one scoop and half scoop of the Isatori Pre-Grow. This is their mixed berry fruit smash fl flavor. Um, again, I don't know why they have such a long complicated name for it. Just call it like mixed berry or something. But that is the pre-workout about to head to the gym, hit legs, I'm tired, but hey, what can you do? So how about head to the gym, hit legs, I'll see you guys there. All right guys, so just got out of the gym and hit legs. And I did a little bit of deadlifts there towards the end just to kind of like get back into the groove of it because I haven't done deadlifts in forever. But um, did front squats, felt good. But I want to talk to you guys about something that um, really got under my skin when I was there. Um, uh, a guy that I have known for many, many years, um, since back when I was in high school, um, him and his business buddy, whatever, came in. 
um, they were working out and whatnot. They asked me, like, Craig, now that you're done with school, what are you doing? Um, what are your plans? And I told them. I told them what I'm doing. I told them what my plans are and everything. And basically, without saying it, without actually saying the words in a roundabout way, they said, well, why don't you get a real job? Why don't you do something um, that has real stability that you can do? Why don't you get a career? Why don't you, why don't you do something where you can create that retirement fund, where you can build towards your future and everything like that, and you can have that comfortable life? You know, for me, that with everything you guys have heard me preach on this channel, everything, that goes against everything I've ever, ever wanted to tell you guys because there's so much more out there in this world than being 23 years old like I am right now and beginning a career. There's nothing wrong with it, but 23 years old with big hopes, dreams, and aspirations, settling in a comfortable lifestyle in a place I don't want to be just so that when I retire at 65 years old, I have a comfortable life and I have that retirement fund and all of those different things. I have that security net. You know what? S screw that. Seriously, that makes me, the fact that 40, 50, 60 year olds will come and tell, uh, sure, they, sure they've been through it, but when they come and they have that condescending, I know it all and I have all the answers attitude man it just it rubs me the wrong way because I know that there's so much more out there I've started to scratch the surface on what is out there and to have somebody like that kind of shit on my dreams and kind of like say no your goals aren't realistic you're not gonna make any money you're not gonna have a fun life if you're not able to build up your I, th I just keep saying retirement funds because that's literally all they were stressing. You gotta have security so that when you retire, you can live a comfortable life. You know what? Screw that. I don't. I don't plan on retiring. If I can do personal training, if I can do like motivational speaking, if I can do what I'm doing, the things that I love, for the rest of my life until my last breath. Screw that. I don't need to retire. Why do I need to retire from something that I love doing? I don't want to work a job that all I'm doing is looking forward to that 65 year old um, birthday so I can retire. Screw that, man. That's, that, uh, I just, there are a few things that really irritate me. And one of them, maybe the most irritating thing is when somebody comes and tells me how to live my life. Somebody tells me the plan and route I should take because they have all the answers they know they've been there they've done that you know what I might take some bits and pieces of what you told me and I might apply it to like my journey but my journey is so much different than yours I don't care about building cell phone towers or owning airports okay I don't I want to reach people and make people better through fitness through health through just so much more Life is so much more than money, in my opinion. You know what? If I don't make as much money as that guy, I don't care. I don't care. To me, it's not how much money you make at the end of the day. It's how you, how mu how you make your money. It's not how much money you make. It's how you make your money. That's what defines happiness. That's what defines how successful you are in life. You know, at the end of the day, I've said this to so many people. Nobody's going to remember all the accolades, all the money, all the boats, the houses, whatever that you acquired, that you built, that whatever in life. They're only going to know and only going to remember how you made them feel. That's it. They're only going to remember how you made them feel. Did you bring positivity to their, to their life? Did you make an impact on them? If the answer is no, if the answer is only, well, yeah, through making money or whatever, then that's not success. Plain and simple, it's not. So, um, kind of a long rant here, but seriously, um, do what you want in life. Be who you want. Take your journey. Seriously, your journey is your own. Go live it. 
Go be you, seriously. Be the best you that you can be. Don't try to conform to what other people want. Be you, be you. So um, yeah, just wanted to talk to you guys about that real quick. Irritating, but um, yeah, about to head home now, uh, get some food, um, send out some emails, get back with clients. I've never been as passionate, as ambitious as I am right now. I'm going to send out every email. I'm going to ship out all my shirts tonight. No, I'm not putting anything off till tomorrow. Thanks, man. You motivated me.